Yep, so what I want you to do is just, between here and here, just clean that up, okay? Ready? Yeah, turn it on. Right. Ooh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Yeah, but I'll see how much the light came out. Yeah. That's because it wasn't maintained close enough. Yeah. What's the name of Dark and Velvo? Yeah. Oh. Dick, be careful. Yeah, pull it. You ready? Yeah. Dad's first well. Woohoo! She's a bit snaky, I'll have another go. There you go folks, my first weld ever. Uh, I don't know if it's good, bad or indifferent. Sammy's turn. But basically what I did on that first one was I had it too far away and I was pulling it away. So basically just bring it along down like this, straight. It takes almost instantaneously see, and you'll see the, the glow of your thing and just try and maintain a straight line, okay? So don't pull the trigger until I'm round the other side. Got my mask on. Are you happy? Yep. If it all goes bad, I'll just let go. Don't drop that, just let go of the trigger. Yeah. Just wait until I'm ready. Do you want me to decide you here? If you want. Yeah, come on. So don't knock that earth off. So it's there, and then just move it. So use this other hand as a guiding hand, okay? Just don't weld across your fingers. Huh. Yeah. Get up, get the nozzle of the thing. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Clear. Ready? Yeah, just don't pull up. Yeah. Go. Slow down. Slow down. Okay, stop. So don't start it here, start just in here a bit. Yeah, that's it. Stop. Okay, so there's Sammy's first go at welding. Good effort, boy. What do you think? Good. Yeah, it's quite a narrow bead compared to my one, so uh, we might actually try and weld something to that and do a join thing, so uh, stand by. Yep. So a lot to learn. Uh, attack weld. I don't know if that was good luck rather than good fortune. That tack weld there seems to be a little bit better. Oh, let's get the light on it. So there's my first effort. Sammy's first effort. So we've got a lot of practice to do before we have to get serious. So any tips would be gratefully accepted.
Yeah. I went away too far. Okay, give it a scrub up and have a look. Is this one here? That looks alright. I went away heat. <laughs> what do you mean you went away? I pulled away. Alright. Yeah. Put some elbow grease into it. Well then. That's good boy. Well. Good for us. Yep, we'll finish welding. Just be careful because now the guard's not working. Yep, put the in more. Um, now you've got to set up your workstation, so remember you bevel that edge there to go in there, right? So when you weld that, you've got a bit of a, a place to weld, yep? Yeah? Yeah. So you see you've got a groove there? Yeah. Okay? So you're going to start on... Did you clean on three sides there? No, not one side, because you said wait. No, no, okay. We'll let, we'll let, oh, we'll let it go. Right, okay. So set it up as a square. You've got your... Magnetizer. Where's the square square? The hammer's there to make some fine tuning adjustments. Use your hammer, huh? Yeah, put the square on it. Even though it's not square. No. Just gentle. Come along. Okay, so is that going to be in a comfortable position for you to weld? Um, Remember, what is what is what do you have to do with um, flux welding? You've got to which way is the weld up the head going to go? Away. Yeah, drag the drag the slab. Yeah. <coughs> so you're going to be welding back along here, right? Let me look at that. Okay. So you're going to weld, put a weld across here, right? Yeah. Okay, did you clean up where your earth spike goes? No. Okay, so you probably want to give that a, a buffer. Yeah. So basically, okay, yep. 45 degrees, that's 90, 45. Yeah. And you're starting here. Yeah. And you're welding you across there, okay? Yeah. Um, how much thing do you have to have out? Three. No, no, three centimetres. Three centimetres, right. So how much is that out? Put your tape in your Oh yeah, look at this. Not much, do you? No. Ten more? No. I'd probably go about twenty, which is five feet. So then you've got to... So you need this hand as a guiding hand. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And in that groove. Yes, sir. So there we go. Hold on, just stop. Okay, so you you started too far away, but that's okay. Don't cut that onto anything. Yeah, that's okay, you're a bit faster, huh? Yeah. Okay, so just put a, a bit in here, so we just need to clean this up. Yeah. Yep. Keep the screw up. Yep. So a bit, a bit in there, let me check the sensitivity. 13, please. Yep. Is that on, Papa? Well, if you don't think it is, you fix it. You're welding. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah? Yeah. 
Hay nó cho nó phân một phân nhiều nó. Oh, well, I can see the power really good, Jim. Yeah, Read the instructions. Plasma cutter. Uh, another first today. We've never used a plasma cutter. So we've gone to uh, Machinery House and brought the WeldTech 40 amp inverter cutter. So we've also brought a compressor which I've fitted a um, Air yeah, filter or separator, uh, water separator to etc. Connect the earth cable, could connect to the earth connection, connect the earth clamp to the workpiece. Correct. Uh, connect the rolling nut plasma torch fitting to the machine plasma torch area outlet, ensure it is tight and firm in your hand, connect the plasma. Yeah, done. Connect the machine. Look at that, how hot it is! 